To demonstrate the use of joints in explicit dynamics analysis, I will analyze a connecting rod's response to a piston seizing up in a three-cylinder engine. The model has been set up with all bodies behaving rigidly. Instead of solving rigid body motions, I will make rod 3 flexible. This will enable me to exploit the explicit dynamic solver and capture the complex nonlinear behavior and deformations typical of this failure type. Let's take a closer look at joint types. A variety of joint types are available to make model setup easy and accurate. If needed, it is also possible to define a general joint where the degrees of freedom are customizable. I can also set up bushing joints with stiffness and damping coefficients. To simulate the third piston locking up, I have introduced a lock in its definition under the subsection stops. I have given it a value of minus 30. Now I'll use the configure tool on the crankshaft's revolute joint to check the system's motion. Under the explicit dynamics tree, I have added a joint load which will drive the engine's motion. I've chosen to use a moment on the revolute crankshaft to ground joint. Other types of joint loads are available here as well for the free degrees of freedom. Now I will run a redundancy analysis to see which joints are redundant. From here it is possible to set all redundant degrees of freedom to free by clicking on the blue box and then clicking set. However, for this model it will not be necessary because one of the connecting rods is flexible. For the results output, I have added a deformation plot and a stress plot. Specifically for the joints in the model, results can be output via joint probes. These can be inserted before and after the solution takes place. In the details panel, you can see I have selected the revolute joint between the flexible rod and piston as the boundary condition. Under result type, it shows all the possible result outputs for the selected joint. I'm interested in the total force. Now the model is ready to solve. Now that it has completed, I can look at the deformation as well as equivalent stress levels and animate them. I can also inspect the joint probe's total forces and animate its results. You see that the connecting rod has failed, in this case on maximum plastic strain. Failed elements are removed from the simulation by the erosion algorithm. As such, the connecting rod now consists of two disconnected parts. This concludes the demonstration of using joints in an explicit dynamics analysis. Thank you.